the direct variation. The variable y varies directly as the variable x. In symbol, y is equal to kx, where k is the constant of variation. One example that involves direct variation is about time and distance. We have this table. Time is our variable x and distance is y. Let's say a man using his car can travel for one hour a distance of 60 kilometers. At the same speed, if he can travel for two hours, the distance is 120 kilometers. For three hours, he can travel 180 kilometers, and so on and so forth. We can notice here that as time increases, the distance increases. Generally, direct variation involves two variables, so that when one variable increases, the other also increases. Similarly, when one variable decreases, the other also decreases. As time x increases from 1 to 5, the distance y increases from 60 to 300. This table can be shown in the graph. In direct variation, the graph is a straight line beginning from the origin. From the values of x and y in the table or in the graph, we can find the constant of variation by substituting the values of x and y in the formula. So, y is equal to kx. Let's begin when x is 1, y is 60. So, the constant of variation, k, is equal to 60. When x is 2 and y is 120, k is equal to 60. So, you will notice here that the values of the k or the constant of variation are the same from the first ordered pair up to the next ordered pair. So this is the concept of direct variation. The constant of variation must be equal from different ordered pairs in our table of values or in our graph. Which of the following tables show direct variation? We can determine if the table shows direct variation if k is the same in every ordered pair. Which of the following graphs show direct variation? Again, we can only determine if the graph is direct variation if in every ordered pair we have equal values of k. Let's solve the following problems. Number one, if y varies directly as x and y is equal to 10 when x is equal to 2, Find y when x is equal to 15. The first phrase says y varies directly as x, so we have y is equal to kx. The second phrase, y is equal to 10 when x is equal to 2. We substitute x from the equation and y. So we have 10 is equal to k times 2. And then divide both sides by 2 we have k is equal to 5. We substitute k in our original equation, y equals to kx. So we now have y is equal to 5x. Another, find y when x is equal to 15. So we substitute x by 15, and we have y is equal to 5 times 15, that is 75. A car can consume 20 liters of gasoline in two and a half hours of travel. How many liters of gasoline can be consumed in five hours? Let's have this table of values, time for x and liters for y. So time is 2.5, then the liters consumed is 20. When time is five hours, we have no values for y. That is unknown. This problem expresses direct variation because as time increases, we can definitely tell 
that the gasoline consumption will also increase. So our formula now is Y is equal to KX. So from the table of values that we have, when X is 2.5, Y is 20. So we substitute 2.5 to X and 20 to Y. Then we divide both sides by 2.5. We have K is equal to 8. And we go back to the equation. We substitute K by 8. So we have Y is equal to 8X. The question is, how many liters of gasoline can be consumed in 5 hours? So we will now use the formula Y is equal to 8X. X is equal to 5. So Y is equal to 8 times 5. And Y is finally equal to 40. This means that the car will consume 40 liters in 5 hours. A freelance writer is paid $50 per page of his online job. If he works 15 pages, how much will he receive? Let us show the given information through a table of values. The number of pages for X and payment for Y. When one page is done, $50 will be given. Two pages for $100 and three pages for $150 and so on until 15 pages we do not know how much is given. This is a direct variation because as the number of pages increases, the payment increases. So we have y is equal to kx. We find the constant of variation k. By substitution, we use the first ordered pair. x is 1 and y is 50. So we have 50 is equal to k times 1. k is equal to 50. We now have y is equal to 50x, our new equation. Then when x is 15, we have y is equal to 50 times 15, and that is 750. This means that freelance writer will receive $750 for 15 pages completed. Try the following. In each table below, y varies directly as x. Find k and the unknown variable y. The fastest way to find k is to divide y by x. So we have 5 divided by 1, so k is equal to 5. You can also have 10 divided by 2. So k is equal to 5 in this case. Now to find the unknown variable y, just multiply k times x which is 3. So y is equal to 5 times 3 equals 15. Number 2. To get the value for k, just divide 10 by 2 or 20 by 4. So k is equal to 5. And to find the value of y, we have 5 times 6. The answer is 30. Number 3. To find k, divide 9 by 1 or 18 by 2. So the answer for k is 9. To find y, multiply 9 by 7. That is 63. Try solving this problem. Start by making a table of values. 